The new life is about what the old year was and what the new year can be. The Argonians of Hismir have the Fish Boon Feast, one of Shadowfen's oldest celebrations. It's quite simple. Those who are able, bring fish. Those who are not, eat fish. Go fishing. Best to catch them in Shadowfen's waters. But if you hate to fish, you can still feed the hungry. Trade with friends, or seek them from a guild trader. When you have enough, deliver them to Gentleheart at Hismir.
smell fish. Have you brought fish? Delightful. I'll prepare them all. Your generosity warms the heart. Did you know we bring fish to those who cannot attend? The old, the infirm, the destitute. None shall go hungry. The trees themselves. The ground beneath our feet. The water that flows down the river. How was your trip to Shadowfen? Catch anything good? The Fishboon Feast reminds us that it warms the heart to fill a hungry belly. Especially when it isn't your own. And if you're truly in need? Well, the smallest kindness of others can help you survive and thrive. Local traditions are essential to the new life. Sometimes they change year to year. Red Guards of Bergama have the Signal Fire Sprint. It honors an ancestor who saved their city from certain doom. A true gift of new life. Go there, to the Alakir Desert, and speak with Obatha. She can explain. <laughs>
You are unfamiliar, but not unwelcome. What brings you to Bergama? You honor us with your journey. Light Bergama's signal fires before I end my count, as Zora the Tenacious did long ago. Begin! The Warlord approaches! Crime is not tolerated here, nor will you be. Quickly, to me! The Warlord prepares to strike! And with the signal fires lit and our defenders alerted, Zora finally collapsed. Such courage drove our ancestors to victory against the Warlord and his band. To understand her sacrifice is to understand Bergama. Now, I bid you a fond farewell. You honored our city by respecting Zora's memory. Tall Papa, look kindly upon you. May you always find water and shade. Back from Bergama? I could never get used to the heat and sand. Ah, Zora's tale is a lovely one. Bergama's celebration honors the sacrifices we must sometimes make, so that others may enjoy a new dawn. A toast to your swift legs! I am only a new life herald during the festival. Otherwise, I run a lumber mill. The High Elves of Haven have the War Orphan Soldier. They travel to a temple in the heart of Grotwood and donate what they can. I'll mark your map. It's quite simple. Give what you are able to give.
another on the war orphan soldier. Though Stendar provides for all lost children, we will not turn away donations for our charges. Ah, yes. Some of those who walk the war orphan sojourn are far less capable than yourself. The creatures alerted to their passage see them as a fine meal. Aggressively dissuading these creatures would help clear the path, if you're so inclined. I can assist you with that. Anything you can donate will help. We must keep our charges fed. What grace! Stendar smiles upon those who help lost children. Today, he smiles upon you. You'll return, after quite the journey. Well? Good. War destroys what it touches, especially a family. The High Elves of Haven see their celebration as necessary to restore the spirit and renew the hope of lost children. And they hope that one day they will never have the need to celebrate. The new life is about what the old year was and what the new year can be. The Orcs of Betnik celebrate through the Stone Tooth Bash. A constant party, not the repeated punching of faces. Though sometimes there is punching. Matron Borbuga is an old friend. Seek her out on Betnik. She will show you. Why are you wasting my time? That old mammoth still kicking? 
You should have seen us in our younger days. Well, friends of Breda are friends of the clan. So do your part and help fill the larder. I need something bloody and something sweet. Bring me fresh meat and honeycomb. You won't need to travel far. Everything you need is on the island. You're back! I'm almost out of meat. What did you bring? Hearthwife Shulg said you wouldn't return, but you have a hunter's heart. Breda wouldn't send you otherwise. Well, don't just stand there. Eat and drink your fill. Maybe give Shulg a good belt to the face for not getting your measure. Safe travels, friend.
Welcome back. Did you enjoy your journey to the island of Betnik? Good food, good drink, and good times are the heart of Betnik's celebration of the new life. I'm glad Matron Borbaga could show you herself. I do miss the adventures we had in our younger days. I'd tell stories, but I don't want to burn your ears off. It warms my heart to share the New Life Festival. The drink? It warms my belly. The Nords of Lower Yorgrim celebrate by traveling to remote places, stripping down to small clothes and leaping into the freezing water. You should take the Snow Bear Plunge. It is quite invigorating. I'll mark your map with the route. Travel to each place, shed your clothes, and take a flying leap. Warm yourself at the bonfires before leaving, and share a drink with anyone else who takes the plunge. They should really make the mugs bigger!
looking hearty in hail, and a bit frosty at the edges. I see that. You have a glow about you. Lower Yorgrim celebrates this way to show they don't fear what the cold brings. At the end of a winter's journey is a warm fire, good mead, and wonderful company. Also, it lets them compare tattoos. Local traditions are essential to the new life. Sometimes they change year to year. Khajiit of Ralka honor their trickster god Rajim with the trial of Five Clawed Guile. Travel to Reaper's March and speak with Tumira. She'll help you celebrate the new life with the slightest of hand. Over here. This one welcomes you to the trial of five clawed guile. Celebrate the new life and pay your respects to Rachin all at once. Rachin once said, a lock is a pebble to be tossed from one's boot. Use your lock picks to retrieve the contents of the nearby chests. Show you have as little regard for barriers as the mighty Rachin, and be quick about it. Rachin would applaud your swiftness, though he might instead pick the pocket of one distracted by your prowess. Truly, the best thieves come and go with the wind. What coins? You aren't the only one who honors Rachin. As you brought them to me, another retrieved the coins from your pocket and returned them to the chests. Such is how Ralka celebrates the new life, finding true wealth in our actions.
Ah, you return from a land of grass and sweet rolls to one of snow and mead. How was your visit to Rolka? What did Tumira ask you to do? Retrieve the coins from the chest or from the victor's purse? No, don't tell me. I'll ask her when she visits. Everyone celebrates the new life their own way. I do so love the variety. Once, very briefly, the city of Ebenhart decreed dancing to be illegal. The Dark Elves promptly invented the Lava Foot Stomp, which they called a necessity should their boots ever catch a flame. They practiced it in taverns, while wearing a small pin. A dazzling pin such as this showed they were in friendly company. Now, it's a symbol of participation. Best to experience the love of foot stomp for yourself. I'll mark the taverns on your map. Now, go forth and dance. What in the name of Vivek do you put no in this fear stuff? of Daedric Plains? Undaunted! Undaunted! We are undaunted! Who knows no fear of Daedric
The smell of soot about you. Did you just return from Ebenhart? So you brought some much needed joy into the dour lands of Stonefalls? This is why the lava foot stomp occurs each year, at least for a time. The warm feeling comes from within, and not all the nearby volcanoes. You are curious about new life traditions, aren't you? Wood Elf immigrants to Oridon introduced the locals of Skywatch to Mudball Merriment. It is as you'd expect, mud balls thrown at everyone. But each year, there is a specific target the Wood Elves agree most needs to be humbled. There are three. Ambassadors of each alliance meet in Oridon to speak with righteous purpose. No doubt to argue the shape of the negotiating table or which wine to serve next. They should take themselves less seriously, don't you think?
Is that what really is this? necessary? Control your people, Kamor. Is that a bit of mud on your hands? How was your visit to Skywatch? Wonderful! Mud on the face reminds us that life is not always so self-important. With new life comes a bit of fun for those who aren't too proud to take part. <laughs> 